Hello everyone, my name is Dramat and today we're going to do a Tristana guide onto the top lane, I guess. If Silas wants me to meet, I'll meet, but onto the top lane. We're going to do an overview today of Tristana and how to generally play her. We're going to also do tomorrow a Talia jungle guide for the Talia mains that are watching this channel. And I'm gonna defend the red. I'm gonna stay here and I'm gonna check the, the red buff in a minute. We're going to be against Rel, which... It's odd because I thought I was against Brand or Fizz. Uh, I think they are invading or something, but they should back off. I'm having magic resist though, that's a problem. Today we're gonna talk about runes, builds, abilities, combos, micro, macro, and what to generally do on Tristana, mid or top. Uh, the main difference between mid or top is that you generally have to be careful more on mid when you jump into your W and on top it's a bit harder to kill some matchups because Darius is difficult for example uh, something like Camille can be tricky, Fiora can be tricky but on mid you have much more power in terms of solo burst because you can kill all of these uh, squishy champions such as Syndra maybe but still they can burst you down but you can definitely kill them so we're gonna talk, we're gonna help Lissine and we're gonna see the runes gonna see the builds i'm not gonna start e because i don't want to push you generally have to max e then i like to max q second because of the build choice i'm gonna do some more auto attacks for you i think it's enough a bit a bit too i could have done more i guess but it's fine right so i'm against rel i have no idea how this champion works and she has a lot of armor i'm gonna miss the first cs because i helped listen right so uh we're gonna discuss runes in the meanwhile in which we are farming. I'm playing with press the attack, but you can definitely play with uh, Hail of Blades as well. But I like the press the attack more for lane Talia. I've seen ADC at uh, lane Tristana, Jesus, the reflex. I've seen ADC players go for Hail of Blades, and I could understand, but I like more the press the attack because of the insane, uh, the insane burst that it offers, honestly. For, for the second, for the rest of the runes, I like to go overheal instead of triumph, legend bloodline instead of alacrity, that's a choice. Why did you run? Uh, I like also to play with cut down, uh, not cut down, I like to play on top with cut down, but I play with cup the grace for this game. And I see already we are having problems on mid. I could probably come towards you. Man, do I even damage this guy? Jesus. I'm not gonna jump on him because I don't know what he does yet. I'm gonna notice his damage in a second. Yeah, for secondary we have multiple choices. Basically, you can go for Demolish and Bomb Plating, you can go for Sudden Impact and Ravenous Hunter, you can go for Transcendence and Nimbus, you can go for Biscuits and, uh, and Boots. There are a lot of options for secondary runes. And for these runes I like uh, the attack speed and the well, armor, but not against Rel. <laughs> against Rel, I like the armor, and not against someone else. Alright, so we go and do a deep word, because we know Kane might do something funny. I think we also can gank mid. Definitely can do a mid gank here. Come on. Come on. Come on! Okay, I'm going in. I'm gonna do the burst. At least I'm sending back home. Because now this guy should have an easier time. I wanted to do the full burst just to test it for sake of simplicity. All right, that was a bit too much though. I wanted him to help me. All right, so for items, I'm playing with Kraken Slayer. Hope I'm not getting yanked here. Playing with Kraken Slayer into Berserkers, into Sanguine, into Stormriser, into Infinity, into Navori, or something else. Uh, that's the general build that I like to go for. And now that I used my ignite, I miss CS. Jesus, why? Okay. Bye. Bye. Leave me alone. Can you kill the fizz, please? You should. You should be able to kill the fizz now. And even if there is a cane there, I do have my W. Man. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> Alright. 
Let me go back to my CS. I, I like to waste time of the enemy cane. Alright. Coming. That's a free kill on the cane. He should die. He should die. Exactly. Yep. 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 Good cane. Good. Can't be more. <laughs> that happens. That's gonna happen. So again. You can go for the mythic for either Kraken shield or immortal shield bow. Then you put you, you could go for berserkers. You could also go for something like maybe magic resist or armor based on needs. You can definitely go after that for the sanguine blade. I like the sanguine blade because I like to split push a lot. And basically your job after the early times your job transitions into uh, trying to man I miss so many cannons. I'm tilted. I don't really deal damage to her yet, but I'm gonna be able to kill her once I get my uh, Kraken my what's the name? I always mess it up. Kraken Slayer, yeah. Right, I can do a recall here. Basically, Tristana comes in phases. The lane phase, where you can get the kills on the opponent, either here, here, or on the jungler, or even on bot. Tristana, over the years, Tristana has always been the level 2 3 try to kill the opponent type of champion. And after that, when before that actually and in the meanwhile of that you should be careful when jumping on someone you should know that you're not your w is on cooldown your dash is on cooldown you won't be able to actually do survive a gank unless you get the kill if you get the kill it resets or you proc the e it resets you can escape but you should be careful in that phase in the early lane phase in general when you jump on the opponent so that you won't get ganked by the enemy i could jump here on this guy why are you staying here i don't think i have any chance to kill her I'm gonna try I don't think I should have wasted the flash but yeah we got another kill there that's pretty much bad from the rail I'm not sure also we are in flex on west I'm not sure at what elo just for the sake of it but they did play pretty bad although the last games people played pretty well so I'm not sure sometimes you're gonna get some even in flex, you're gonna get some diamond level players onto the... I, I'm always low level in flex because I like to test here things. I like to do stuff. And now you see they are actually winning. So we're gonna put this. Demolish would have helped here, but I really like the sudden impact more into, into the Ravenous Hunter for the heals. Also, Legend Bloodline gives a lot of heals. And yeah, we get here that. I'm not afraid of Kane because you've seen I can just jump it out. And... Combined with the fact that I'm against a champion who's basically useless, uh, I'm not against a Fiora, so it's not going to be a skill matchup. I'm against someone who just like auto attack to death, and that won't happen often. But she will go full tank, and I probably won't get the kill. Right, so we press recall here. We start to look into this item. We go for the pickaxe. We start to slowly build it up. I like this item more than the shield bow because of the insane use ability. I can't buy anything now besides the dagger for this item and attack speed does help and will help because I want I want to get maximum attack speed for the Kraken Slayer procs. Let's talk uh, let's talk abilities now a bit. Oh yeah, I was into the phases actually. So the lane phase is to try to get a kill, right? That's the first part. After that, after the lane phase, you need to go to split push time. Generally, your bot will move mid and you will move to a side lane where you can get kills with Kraken Slayer and Sanguine Blade. You can be actually pretty, pretty hard to kill. So I'm gonna get here two auto attacks. Okay, I'm gonna miss some CS, but it's fine. So you transition from this uh, lane monster to the scaling monster uh, into the side lane. You become basically a Fiora. And you can beat the Fiora, <laughs> honestly, if you don't mistime your ultimate. So, uh, yeah, with the right build and the right stuff. Uh, he wants me to see this, I think. To check it up, if it's alive. I'm gonna do it for you, man. It's not alive, so likely Kane came around. So I have to wear it here to be sure. Also, I'm gonna be able to kill the Rel next time when I get my item. Before that, not so much. Also, I think now I set up myself for an easy CC from the rail to get killed. Am I even dealing damage to her? <laughs> Rocking an auto attack. I know what her ultimate does, so I have to be careful. But also, I don't need to be that much respectful because I'll have my ignite up. And if uh, Kane comes, I think I could just 
grill him down. Alright, we tried to play it perfectly. Okay, speaking about the cane. Okay, get him up. Jump on her, auto attack her to death. Get the cannon. I don't really have that much. She's basically useless as I told you. So, that's the beauty of Tristana. If a squishy jungler comes on you, such as uh, Kha'Zix without an ultimate, such as Lila, then you have this amazing opportunity to actually switch your targets to him. It's like an Ilaoi or Darius or Kled who notice as well. I can actually kill the guy and move his moves towards the other champion. Right. So we can do more auto attacks here. Gonna do some in between weaving of auto attacks. Proking that. Gonna put here a bomb. Gonna proc it. And gonna try to move towards this. So again, abilities, abilities. Your passive increases your attacks, your range, attack range, and E range, uh, basically with levels. So you become a Caitlyn eventually, or even longer range than Caitlyn, or a Kogmao W. Your Q gives attack speed. I like to max second. Your W is the jump, a jump that actually resets. Come on, I can get the tower. A jump that actually resets when you. Uh, when you get a kill or when assist or when you get an assist or when you proc your E onto an enemy champion if I I miss the cannon man why do I farm like freaking silver sometimes so as it states here champion takedowns and max tech explosive charge detonation on champions refreshes ability cooldown basically explosive charge is your E it's the bomb uh, basically this ability has two parts the first part being uh, the first part being the uh, passive that kills uh, when you kill minions, uh, enemies, whatever it deals damage, and the active that puts a bomb on a target and you uh, deal damage to that target with auto attacks, and the bomb will grow up and it will explode, will deal damage to towers as well. So I'm gonna get for this. I'm gonna go get this. Not gonna steal his. Uh, not gonna steal his red. I'm not that douchey. I'm the one who killed twice the <laughs> the cane, so that's funny enough. I'm gonna do a deep world. So basically, uh, I'm gonna talk about the combo. So basically, the bomb, you want to put it on stuff, you want to jump before, you want to queue after that, you want to proc the uh, rune that you have. So let's test it. Let's just jump. This is the full combo. Right. Proc the bomb. Jump again. Do auto attacks, do auto attacks. And... We can be a split push monster. This especially, this is simple because the matchup is so simple. Don't think, don't think, I don't want you to think it's going to be easy against all matchups. Because it won't. Against the Darius it can be difficult against an Eloy. Against some other niche champions it can be vastly difficult. So you gotta be careful. Also, I'm staying somewhere here because Kane might actually come. And I might actually eat him alive. So I'm moving here. And I'm waiting for the cane to appear. He might go through this, through the wall. Uh, I could stay around here though. Yeah. I think I'm just gonna do the bomb. Yeah, he's on bot. I'm, I was guessing that correctly. I'm just gonna do the bomb. I'm gonna get this. Gonna wait for the blue to spawn up. Gonna get the blue as well. Really good for me in terms of CS. As you can see, my CS is 100. Not the best in the game because there is also Lucian, but pretty good nonetheless. Right, we also have a lot of gold. Gonna stay here, gonna jump onto the guy. Fizz is missing, so we have to be careful to that, so we have to be respectful. Alright, gonna cast the ult here. We know we know he has no actual uh, flash, and so we actually get it for free. We don't even need to kite it, it's sad. Because the champion is that bad onto the lane. But normally you should properly kite it, properly orb walk. And I would like that. I don't think she's seen me enter this. Ah well. You can't kill me with the ult. So that's fine. I will just back off. I'm 5-0. I have a, lot, have a lot of bounty. But that jump was stupid and the fight on rail was stupid. Because uh, if they would bait properly I could get caught in a trap and I would die and yeah so your ultimate I didn't talk about it basically pushes people away it's best to use it at the end to get a kill uh, or to actually 
you can see it even states if the ability applies the final stack of explosive charge it explodes after the unit is knocked back so it's it's a small niche thing there but it's good to know it i also will have my sanguine blade which will make me immortal basically soon whoa okay i want it to flash but i guess it's not that worth because if i flashed here now i wouldn't have flash for the next fight and i still got what i wanted and for a zero three cane that that's not really worth it, is it now? So I'm just gonna go behind the Caitlyn. She will likely back off towards this. Yeah. And just gonna jump. I would attack, I would attack. I don't even need to do much. I'm gonna flash to be sure. I could have flashed for the other guy, but I haven't killed this one, so I wanted to. I shouldn't have flashed, to be honest. But I didn't want to cast the ult yet. It doesn't matter because it's that kind of game that you already won. The combo, as you've seen, you, you do the W, you jump in, you put the E, you press the Q. You, you can even Q it beforehand and you press, you do the press the attack combo, you proc it up, you after that press ignite and bam, you cast, you finish it with the ult. That's simple. It's not a mechanically intensive thing to do and I'm gonna cast here. And as you can see, I'm becoming a split push monster and normally you should actually work, but as I have now my ultimate, I will be extremely safe towards anything I'm just gonna jump here I'm gonna get this too getting the jungle camps also provides a lot of stuff for you a lot of free stuff and I expect them to surrender soon also the highest level into the game by a large margin so that went well so we talked about micro because of the faces we talked about macro because of the split push and what you gotta do with this champion obviously try to be there for objective and keep it in mind that sometimes people will stack up on you when you're deep into split pushing like that and you should become a monster that gets towers you should become that monster that just gets towers and is annoying and catches someone by the surprise and instantly assassinates him and stuff like that we can also go for this don't forget to get some vision words from time to time i really like the fact that i get a lot of heal from ravenous and legend bloodline and that's amazing why did you teleport oh, you teleport from there to there now, look at this, she doesn't have any damage whatsoever. This champion is basically troll, and this isn't in a normal game or draft, this is in flex, you're basically trolling your team there. Gonna get this, gonna get that, gonna try to get the uh, guy as well. Attack speed, a lot of attack speed, it's beautiful to farm when you have the sanguine blade. Because you have this insane push power damage output, but when you have the Sanguine Blade, you should be careful because the passive, as you know it, it won't work against multiple opponents. So, let me just... Okay, proc that. Man, I'm bad at proccing that. Right, we get this and we can go mid. And we can put this onto the mid. Get some more farm from the side. Alright, and this will be an easy quick win. But I'm... It's kind of surprised they played this badly. I would have expected more. And look at the Why are you winning, man? Oh man, I don't have words. I'm gonna put this here. <laughs> Your words are useless. Gonna put this here. Gonna convince them to surrender faster. But yeah, this is basically a perfect game for me, which is rare. Considering I don't really do this. Because these this aren't... This shouldn't be this simple. This isn't against bronze players, okay? It's, I'm not that kind of... I want to jump in that, but I, I know I will just die. This is one of the things that you will learn first on playing this champion. Uh, you're going to die if you do this stupid jump into a lot of people. So, I see this. Ah, wanted to put the bomb there and do some auto attacks. I'm just gonna back off. This guy gets that. I'm gonna get the walls. I'm gonna get also, I think this is... Okay, this is up. And we look at the items. We go for the Storm Razor into the EA after that. I can 1 versus 2 them here. But I need to be careful to the brand. Is this worth it? This is not worth it. Okay, we're gonna jump in. Oh no! Oh no! Please explode. I don't wanna continue that. I wanna heal up first. I put the bomb on the wrong target though. And it's pretty stupid to play this champion when <laughs> you can easily do that. It's, it's pretty funny to have this much power into a champion all right all right let's go here let's put a word i mean kane can't do anything to me 
Not, not now, not ever, because he's so behind. He even went blue, man. Blue cane is bad. And you can see I'm not even going other lanes. And when you are mid, you just transition to a side lane. I'm gonna get ulted, am I not? Dodge the ult. Dodge the ult. Alright, kill the cane. Not gonna kill the cane. Heal up, heal up. <laughs> that was bad. Very bad from me, I'm pissed. I could have played much better, but... Well, it doesn't matter, I'm too far ahead. You can see how that went. I'm gonna go with stopwatch, because stopwatch would have made me win that hard. Also, I had no flash, because I misused it probably last time, but it's fine. You can see I'm 14 levels uh, in, and their mid is just level 10. Why do you even play well, though? I don't understand. Although, she's, it's not at her fault that much. But, look, she's basically useless. She's, she's just trolling, I'm sad. But that's not what won us, because... My bot won also, so that matters a lot. Can I solo Baron now? I don't think so. Okay, so I'm going for rides. Going for Baron, going to end the game. It's It lasts much more than I wanted for a stomp. This is that one-sided game, that kind of a game where you just destroy it. If I were to guess, I think I can solo the Baron, but I don't. I'm not sure. Okay, so let's let's just see how this works. Let's just see if I can heal up enough to solo it. I think so. Wait. Yep, it looks like we can do it. It looks like we can do it. Although he's stacking up on me, I'm gonna get the attack speed back. I wanna solo it though. Okay, gonna cast the W. Uh, I, I'm soloing it. Okay, I'm gonna cast even an ult on him to deal more burst. I don't wanna cast Ws. I just wanna see if I have enough attack speed. Okay, Q, 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 Q. Heal up, heal up, heal up, heal up, heal up, heal up. Uh, <laughs> don't heal up! Don't heal up! <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> I shouldn't have zone yet! <laughs> I shouldn't have zone yet, I would have killed him! <laughs> so, Baron is the MVP for this game, man, that was funny. <laughs> I'm gonna come back, I promise. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop this and be serious. <laughs> Was that 10 HP? I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have zone yet because I forgot about the heal. Because if you're going zone, he's gonna heal a bit, and that my chance went away because I was healing consistently. And then until I went the first attack, yeah. Whew. All right. Uh, let's just end the game. I'm doing troll stuff like this because it's impossible with three winning lanes and a fat jungler to lose the game. It does happen against the Kyle. It does happen against the Kassadin, but these champions are against the Vladimir, but these champions are not into the game. Come on, let's just... Let's just stop going to the side and get this. Come on, guys, at least someone help me. I want to finish this properly. This time will work! Guys! I already proved that I can't beat it. There is a king who's gonna come and murder me. Can you shield me at least or something? I think Kane will steal this. I think they have words. And that ult just further proves that we can lose it by still. Ah no, my bomb is here. We could have lost it though. Could have lost it. <laughs> Get that. Get the full jungle. I need to practice, by the way, if you play ADC, you need to practice orb walking a lot. Because it's one of the most important skills. I'm just gonna put a word here. I don't think anyone will come, though. So I'm just gonna get this. I want to see how this guy is fighting them all. Coming. Hello! <laughs> that was bad. 
<laughs> I wanted to flash after the jump, but yeah, I'm trolling. Nice, fine. If I get hit once more by that, I will die. But yeah, that was the Tristana tutorial. Now let's do a recap into post-game talk. You can play Tristana on multiple lanes. You can do Tristana mid, which is, I think, the best. I don't think bot is the best lane for her. You can do her mid. Uh, wait, let me just... All right, transition to this screen. So, you can do Tristana mid, you can do Tristana bot, you can do uh, Tristana top even, but in some matchups, in most matchups, it's going to be harder than mid. On mid, you have to be careful to burst. You can go for press the attack or you can go for hail of blades. Your secondary runes you choose, you test which one you like most. I like the lifesteal part, so I go for it, because into the mid to late game, it really shines through into the one versus ones. I really enjoy, uh, I really enjoy going for the Kraken Slayer for the amount of the attack speed and true, true damage item. It's a true damage item and then every third attack you deal a lot of damage into the Berserk Graves, into something like Sanguine Blade, uh, into some attack speed crit items. You remember to get Infinity Edge when your uh, crit chance would be 60% and not faster because that's what the item does. You can also finish the build with something such as such as a stopwatch, something that makes you tankier, something that makes you live more or some lifesteal or whatever or Navori quick blade that would also work and for abilities max E and then I like to max Q you can also max something else like W but I don't really enjoy that much I like to max E first into Q okay get alt at 6 11 16 uh, jump in with W press E press Q combination of those proc depress the attack press the ignite button press the ultimate but do that only when you're sure your their enemy jungler will not get to you and kill you before you kill the opponent because if you kill the opponent you can jump away so try to work with these procs if you proc your e you can jump again on your target which you are fighting as you've seen you can get that in and uh, that's the basic combo it's not a complex combo such as riven or camille it's not press this do that blah 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 it's simple it's straightforward all you gotta do is you're probably going to int the first first games because it takes a while to integrate the fact that you need to understand your damage and that you might get ganked and those two combined if you understand your damage and you know you won't get ganked or you know you can get the kill on jump on the enemy jungler if needed that will help you climb after that transition for the micro micro part transition into the split pushing technique with sanguine blade be careful though against multiple targets it won't proc so the passive will just wear off so you gotta be careful but it still lingers for some seconds and into the mid to late game you can scale you can catch someone in the fight uh, flash away jump on top of them kill them with ultimate or put the bomb but generally you should let your front line come to you uh, defend you and then or just kill the squishiest target that you find in the near proximity if you jump with the w in the middle of the team obviously they're going to turn on you so this is going to be something that you need to ingrain into the team fight and need to understand so that's all you gotta know i think to play better tristana onto the into the mid lane into the top lane uh, i could have showcased some mid lane as well gameplay but that's strictly similar to this Although maybe a bit harder to get kills or easier, depends on the context, depends on the matchup. You just have to find these W combos. And if you're on top, you can even have the space of the longer lane. It can be simpler because you don't need to dive. So pluses and minuses, minuses and pluses, doesn't matter. You need to find wherever you like her most. You need to see, you try it. I always advise people that uh, even if you see someone getting 20 kills in a game or something uh, most people play against bronze and silver players I really don't like to do that but in this game probably I was against some lower elo opponents I'm not sure what elo is flex on Europe West and what I want to advise you is do not do not take these words uh, when you see someone going 20-0 on a troll build or something do not take their words for granted test it test it yourself into the practice will into normals into flex see how it works and then Consider and accept it for yourself if you enjoy that or not. That's all I gotta say for now. Tomorrow we're going to do Tulia Jungle, I think. I'm gonna probably try it in solo queue. <laughs> Against Masters, Grandmaster is going to be probably awful for me because I'm not a jungle main. But I really want to see if I can do fine with her. Although, it should theoretically be simpler if you if you farm a lot and if you are careful to enemy jungler. That's all you gotta do in jungle. So, obviously, pinging when you're tracking the enemy jungler that's another thing but in the basics it should be simpler than lane Talia simply because there is no assassin to murder in your face but if you get invaded then that's a problem but then again you can see what you're against you can pre-plan and you can do stuff like that so that's all the strategy you have to follow and i really hope you enjoy this and see you next time guys